quick impromptu tips on finger sales. I've done two things that I think have made a huge difference in my practice. I've gotten elastic that I've purchased at like Michael or Joanne and I've cut them extra tight so that the fingertips almost lose circulation. They're really, really tight. So that way when I practice, they don't fall all over the place. So I've gotten a lot of requests on in person and in class and um, also friends that have asked me how to do the finger sills to kind of incorporate it into their belly dance routine. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I do. I've never been really one for conventions, so if you're like by the book, tutorial, oh that's not a three count, oh that's not a four count, this isn't the video for you. But if you want something sexy, different, and definitely personalized, then here, check it out. I've added tape, shipping tape, to the inside of my sills, just to kind of give like a um, break to the sound barrier, because you're going to see that it's really, it gets really loud. My dogs, my neighbor, my roommate, they go nuts when I practice because it's just, it gets really loud, especially when you start feeling it because then, you know, the intensity gets higher. So another thing I do is I use like a circular wrist pattern. So this webcam is a super, super cheapy webcam. So I know the sound is going to be terrible. You probably won't even be able to hear the music. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like show you how I use the finger, I mean the wrist sway. So I put one hand in front, one hand behind. Let's see if I can go here. And then you swoop, swoop. So you're going to kind of like interactive, add some depth. So again, I don't really want to get too loud because it sounds really bad. So anyway, you add your depth, you've got your wrist rolls, and so once you do that, you can just kind of practice. I practice to a metronome, so it's kind of got the rhythm pattern down and I just kind of you know keep embedding it to it. Once you get past the wrist motion, then you can start adding your you know your shoulder shimmies and your um, goazi and and um, the hip circles and your your uh, belly rolls and all that. So um, the second thing that I do that kind of adds a lot of flavor to my performances is that I smack each hand. So I get this finger, this thumb, this middle finger. So in between each, one, two, three, I'll bring them forward, smack them against each other, go back, smack them against each other, smack them each other, and then plant. Smack. Did you catch that? So it's kind of hard for me to slow it down, so I'm trying to keep it like real, real slow. So let's see. Back. And then that also adds, like, like I said, depth perception. It'll add like a little bit more of a mystique and more of like a mesmerizing, hypnotic kind of appeal. And then it adds some flavor. So anyway, that's it. Next time when I break out with my good camera, I'll actually show you how to like incorporate that into choreography. Yay!